Dear friends, warm welcome to our channel. Today, I'm excited to share a useful idea on how to create a captivating thumbnail using multiple frames in CapCut. Despite CapCut lacking a built-in feature for this, we'll explore some creative solutions. As you see now, you have the ability to create nice thumbnails with a few photos by selecting from various video frames. In this instance, I opted for three specific video frames to compose this thumbnail. Here is another thumbnail I have designed for one of my own YouTube videos. Notably, I invested additional effort in arranging photos, employing masks, incorporating text, and choosing a suitable background for an enhanced visual appeal. Let's kick things off by adding a few videos to the timeline for our demonstration. In our first video, we've captured beautiful shots of the Statue of Liberty, the entrance, and a charming church. These visuals will be the key ingredients for our thumbnail. Typically, creating a thumbnail in CapCut involves selecting a single frame. However, it's a bit limiting as we can only use one frame. Unfortunately, there isn't a direct option to choose multiple frames for a thumbnail. But fear not. Let's put on our thinking caps and find an innovative method to achieve what we need. First and foremost, let's envision what we want to include in our thumbnail and decide how to position the selected frames. For the purposes of this exercise, let's imagine specific placements for the Statue of Liberty, the entrance, and the church. Now, let's get practical. Copy and paste video clips with the frames we want onto different layers. To keep things organized, let's identify the order of each layer by toggling them on and off. We've figured out that the church is on the highest layer, followed by the entrance, and then the copied Statue of Liberty layer. Moving along, turn off the unnecessary layers, select the Statue of Liberty layer, find the frame you desire, and position it on the top right corner. Tidy up by removing any unnecessary frames. Progressing to the next layer, turn on the entrance layer, reduce its size, and position it on the right lower corner after reducing the scale and adjusting it to fit the corner. Now, let's bring in the church layer. Temporarily reduce the opacity if necessary, and apply method 2, using a mask, to adjust the size and position. For the left half of our thumbnail, we'll use the church frame. Instead of reducing the scale, this time, we'll use a mask to halve the frame and position it on the left. Feel free to adjust the size or location as needed. With these adjustments made, let's fine-tune the frame to perfection. Click on the thumbnail icon, choose the image we've just created, add any necessary text, finalize the thumbnail, and then hit the complete button. Once done, turn off all the layers that we used to create the thumbnail. Now, proceed to export the project following your usual steps. Let's take a peek into the exported folder to see our masterpiece, the newly created thumbnail. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this tutorial insightful and helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and hitting the notification bell for more content.